Right troops, we'll be fishing 24 hours now, so it's uh, plenty of time to adjust, plenty of time to get used to this type of fishing again. And uh, we've had free fish, but nothing big. Just recast the rods. A little bit tighter to the islands, left and right. Middle one's still far back. So easterly breeze, it's, it's a lovely day, it's, you know, the sun shining. Plenty of colour in the water, so the sunshine is not going to... It's March, you know what I mean? They're not going to be roasting, are they? So it's hopefully, it's mild. Get their heads down and feed. We've got left rod, still the life system, that's been working well. Right rod, it's Pacific, Pacific tuna. And the middle rod, I've gone over the life system as well, so as I had a few fish on that. So hopefully we'll uh, endeavour to get out some of these 30s that are in here. Are you going, I mean, it's, you know, it's a couple of hundred fish in here, so you can't just expect to turn up and catch the big girls. You know, you've got to present your base, you've got to do all the work, you've got to do all the right things, so... And then, you know, if you're catching small fish, then you just got to get through them. So there are big fish in here. You know, they won't come out. Last season 37, there's been a few different 30s I've seen. But they're definitely in here. It's just get you know, it's just a case of getting in <laughs> amongst them, attracting them. Your bait's good, you know, it's it's a quality freezer bait. The presentation's good, I'm happy with that. And it's just whether the baiting application is right for here or not. I mean, it's hard to tell. I know I've seen a few people with bait boats and put beds of bait down. I've seen a few people spotting before in the past. And I've seen a few people fish like I'm fishing, so I don't know. It's, um, it's, it's getting the baiting application right for the time of year, the conditions. Now, as I say, you don't want to put too much bait in at once, but you don't want. You know, and all the, you, know you, you want some bait in there, you want some attraction, you want the fish rooting around in your swim. So, I'm going to crack on, see if we can catch some of these. Well, it's just not happened to day troops. It's uh, we had that first one this morning. What was set fair for the day? Cold easterly winds blowing through. Don't know that's it. Don't know whether I put too much bait in, but they're just not having it. I had one liner that was 10, 20 minutes ago. Other than that, there's been nothing to nothing to give you any <laughs> confidence, really. I've, you know, I've been scoping the water all day, looking for signs of fish, and there ain't none really. I mean, there has been around the right-hand island where I'm fishing. I've had two rods there for a lot since midday, but as I say, I've only had the one liner. So I've got my Thai spicy sausages on the go. I'm going to wash it down with some cloudy lemonade. Get set. Hopefully, as it gets dark, the witching hour and through the night, they pick up again. But it's supposed to be a lot of rain coming through tonight, so 
I don't mind getting wet if I'm catching fish, but at the moment it's, it's been a hard road really. I mean spring carp fishing can be fantastic. But you're not that far away from winter either, so you know it's a fine balance with your baiting application. It's also a fine balance with the weather, you know, and if the weather turns against you. Yeah, you can put them fish back down and you, you know you're stuffed really. We had a nice southeasterly with we wasn't too bad first 24 hours. But that's changed that swung round to an easterly wind there and it's cold. Yeah, as you can see I've got my fleece on now. I had my just my t-shirt and my thermals on this morning, but I had to put a fleece on by about ten o'clock. You know, the wind is cold, it's pushing through easterly. Playing all the excuses, got me excuses rule book out, and I'm using them all. But this is the way it goes with fishing. It ain't over yet. We've got, to, you know, we've got till the morning. So, got a bit of company on the lake as well. There's a guy down in the far corner. There's a couple of people on the syndicate, but virtually had the lake to myself. So I've been out a look. Have a good look around. If I'd seen fish showing in another area, I would have up sticks and moved. But yeah, let's say Thai spicy sausages and uh, contemplate. I've just positioned the rods again, so I'm not going to touch them there. It's about four o'clock, half four, and they're, they're in position now. And hopefully, we'll catch some fish for you. There we go, another lively, dumpy common. Beautiful looking fish, but a lot smaller than them. <laughs> They're getting smaller again. <laughs> I want them to get bigger. They're getting smaller. Oh well. Let's get him back. One of you noticed that troops when I was playing it, I played it, I was holding the rod very, very high, playing it very high. In between me and that island, there's a there's a bar, a weed there's a well, it's a weed bed definitely, and it comes up. So I brought back some dead weed when I've been bringing it in, and also 
when you wind in you wind in too fast there and you don't get your rod up high you can feel it hit the hit the mud and then come over so I get, I, I get any runs on that left hand rod it's up high it extends almost to the other island so the rule applies to both of them really you know what I mean get it up high and once you've got it 20 30 meters then you can relax unless they come up on their own accord of course but most fish keep down heavy don't they but yeah that's why you saw me with a rod right up like that is because there's a there's a bar there right let's crack on let's get that bait back on the spot again live system again another dumpy fish let's hope we get a big one <laughs> as i said earlier it always seems to no matter where you are it always seems to become very very calm just as it's getting light or just as it's getting dark hardly a ripple on there now not oh, glorious evening Get a few more, I've got a taste for it. Look at that. <laughs> Another common. Not the, not the biggest fish in the world, but still got to put in the effort and the time, and so you still got to catch them. There we go. Oh, morning troops. Join me on the final morning of the session and we're uh, <laughs> it's half past five believe it's not looked light already. Spring is definitely here. Weather wise you wouldn't have thought it. Oh, oh what a night. Gale force winds, torrential rain. From ten to about three AM. Yeah, it was unrelenting. But yeah, I mean I've been up and at it since four. Baiting up all my spots again. I've got, I've got to be off here by 10. We I mean, don't want to be here when it's something else is up, although people are turning up. So effectively, I'm going to be off by 9. So, doesn't leave me a lot of time in the morning to catch a few fish. So, like I say, I've been up and at it since 4. Baited all my spots up, fresh baits, all bang out there, all raring to go. And it's just now waiting game. Done all I can now over the 48. We've had fish, we ain't had none of the big girls out of here, but it's uh fishing is funny, you know, I mean you can you can sit here for forty six hours and have two thirties in the last hour, couldn't you? So I say the rod's back out. We had another fish during the night at common. And it's you know, it's been it's been I mean I'm catching fish and I've got it's you know it's a, yeah, it's a blowy old morning. The wind's changed direction again. Yesterday it was an easterly. This morning it's a southwesterly. You know, it's coming from all directions. It's uh, so it was really chucking it down last night. Didn't have any interest at all. Middle rod, a couple of beeps. Got up, got my raincoat on, I was out, but it did develop. Just enough to get me soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> but we're here, we're on it, we're going to uh, endeavour to catch you a few nice carp before we go.
we go. Look at that. Nice little linear. Well, more like a zip, really. Here's the rig for those of you who like that sort of thing. <laughs> As you can see, D rig, 18 mil bait, small pop up, cutting off a CC more Pacific tuna, fluorocarbon, sinker about halfway down. That really helps the hook turn and go into that bottom lip. Short, short trace, inline lead, the stem taken out, there's a tail rubber in there, so everything comes loose, and there's the uh, shrink tube. small again Absolutely tiny, beautiful, but tiny. <laughs> there he is, look at that. Let's get it back. We're in again, that same spot, same bait. Pacific tuna. I've got to go and they're having it.
finally got one slightly bigger, 13 13, so it's not bad. Some might say unlucky for some, but a lovely mirror. Again, bigger, big, big apple slices on there. Look at that tail, beautiful creature. Let's get her back. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I don't just fish for carp. You'll see the playlist. There's course fishing, pike fishing, anything worth fishing it, I'm on it. Thanks for watching, troops. Really appreciate the views and all the comments. I'll see you on the bank real soon.